see on the left are echoing. That's exclusively is on when the Obama suppressed. Back to the phones open. Uh, Mr. Miller, you get what it's always like. For tonight's politically corrected, I'm correcting conservatives. According to a Pew Research Center poll, 63% of conservatives believe that our nation and our culture are superior to the rest of the world. They believe wholeheartedly in the idea of American exceptionalism and think that America is the shining city on the hill for the rest of the world to admire. But as C.J. Whirlman at Alternet points out, America looks a lot more like a broken banana republic than a shining city on the hill. Whirlman notes that a single U.S., not, a, not one single U.S. city is included in the world's top 10 most livable cities, and only one U.S. airport makes the list of the top 100 in the world. Our infrastructure is literally crumbling to the ground, and our transportation systems are stuck in the 20th century. Meanwhile, student, American high school students are ranked 30th in math in the world, and when it comes to life expectancy and infant mortality in the U.S., the picture isn't much brighter. Finally, as Whirlman points out, the only things America is leading the world in are the number of people in jail per capita and instances of adult onset diabetes. The fact is you can just look at the crumbling electrical lines outside of your house and realize that America is very far from being the most superior country in the world. When it comes to conservatives and their strong belief in American exceptionalism, it's a classic case of money isn't everything, and that's why they've been politically corrected.